We've come out here to the falls on the Brazos Park, about 25 miles southeast of Waco near the town of Marlin. And the reason why we've come out here today is to tell you a little story about North Texas and the extinction of the dinosaurs debate. Many of you know a part of the story. Many people believe that the dinosaurs were exterminated 65 million years ago by a giant asteroid that crashed into the Earth. For many years, people debated as to whether or not this asteroid ever really hit the Earth because no one had ever found evidence to suggest that such an asteroid had ever hit. This problem was partially solved by a young geology student named Alan Hildebrand, who was working along this stretch of the Brazos River, looking at a couple of the local rocks when he stumbled upon something that helped isolate and led scientists to the famous Chicxulub Crater, now on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, the site of the impact which is believed to have caused the death of the dinosaur. Most of the rocks found in north central Texas are Cretaceous in age. Now if I go a few hundred feet down the river, this changes to a sandstone that's called tertiary in age, meaning that it is younger than 65 million years by a significant amount. The boundary between those two layers is widely known as the KT boundary, standing for Cretaceous Tertiary Boundary. And it's at that boundary where scientists have found a small layer of clay containing an extraterrestrial element called iridium. It's the finding of that iridium element in this clay layer that originally brought scientists out looking at this boundary to try and figure out why the dinosaurs and many other organisms became extinct between this layer and the layer above it. If you can imagine yourself 65 million years ago here in North Texas, you would be in an area that's dominated by a shallow sea. And one day in this shallow sea environment, there was a huge tidal wave that appeared on the horizon. Thousands of feet tall, spreading out in all directions, this tidal wave was so tremendous that it ripped the bottom of the ocean floor up and incorporated all of the shark's teeth and all of the large chunks of ocean floor with it. It would reach over 120 miles inland before it came crashing down. And when it did, it deposited a tidal wave deposit. And it's this deposit that young Alan Hildebrand found here on the Brazos. At the time, there was much discussion about where this doomsday asteroid might be found. And until this discovery here, no one really had an idea of what part of the globe it might have fell upon. But the only explanation for finding this tidal wave deposit so far inland was a cataclysmic explosion, one caused by the impact of a six mile wide asteroid which later was discovered on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The crater measures over 110 miles across which would stretch from Austin to Waco and over 25 miles deep. A cataclysmic eruption and explosion that would have devastated this part of the world. And since we are only a few thousand miles away from that point, this was near ground zero. 65 million years ago. There's still much debate as to whether or not it was actually an asteroid impact which finished off the dinosaurs. Many scientists believe that the dinosaurs and many other organisms that were alive at the time were actually in a period of decay before that. And there were many species of dinosaurs that actually lived just past the 65 million year mark. So there's no magic time that specifically all of these species disappeared at once. But for now, the asteroid theory is the dominant theory and is accepted by most scientists as at least having a part in the dinosaur extinction. And we can thank the beds and the rocks along the Brazos River in helping discover the answer to that age-old question.